Burke Rehabilitation Hospital's individually designed acute rehabilitation programs and comprehensive outpatient services have made Burke a leader in rehabilitation medicine for the past 100 years. Since 1978, the Burke Medical Research Institute's game-changing research has provided new therapies and techniques, not only for rehabilitation, but for finding cures for people with disabilities, especially for those patients with neurological impairments stemming from traumatic brain or spinal cord injury. Academically affiliated with Weill Cornell Medical College, the Institute is at the forefront of neurological rehabilitation. Burke's non-invasive brain stimulation and human motor control laboratory, often referred to as Burke's robotics lab, combines non-invasive brain stimulation with robotic-assisted therapy. We are one of the few research institutes uh, that is affiliated with a freestanding rehabilitation hospital that does uh, basic translational and clinical research on this campus. And this really positions us to be taking the most recent scientific advances and translating them to patients. A great example of that is the robotics program, which has uh, done a remarkable job of using training to in reduce impairment in patients with stroke. We like the robotic therapy because it's a proven method of promoting recovery for motor systems recovery. Um, and we, we couple that with brain stimulation in a very uh, novel way. So just relax and let the machine take it for a stretch. Patients who come to Burke's Robotics Lab often experience considerable gains from their therapy. If I put my hands on, it, on the wheel of a car and I don't pay attention to this hand, I swerve over to the right, it just drops. But the robotics program rekindles some sensation so that I don't do that anymore. Well, my goal is, her goal is to recover, so you recover. Yeah, she has two babies to raise. When I see patients long term down the road, whether it's six months later or a year later, they all retain the benefits from robotics. We also uh, deal with spinal cord injury patients, and then we have neurodegenerative patients as well, those who have diseases which are progressively degenerating over time. The robotics lab is funded through grants from the National Institutes for Health, foundations, and private donations. And it's free of charge for patients, so the one benefit of research is that patients who no longer have insurance covering their therapies were last resort for people. Brad Berman suffered from a stroke a year ago. A long distance runner, he has benefited from the robotics lab, especially the lower limb robotics lab. On August 4th, 2013, um, at age 37, Brad had a hemorrhagic stroke caused by a ruptured AVM. The day it happened, they told us that um, it was, there was a decent possibility that he would never walk again. All he wants is a feeling of normalcy. That's, that's what I think every stroke patient wants. They just want their life back. I was having a ton of different types of therapies, and this was something new that was added into my routine that I started getting benefits from, you know, very quickly. I have more use of my left arm, which I had no use of, and, you know, I'm walking better. You know, my left leg was completely shut down, so now that's improving. Burke's Restorative Neurology Clinic is a fee-paid program for those who do not meet the criteria for Burke's research trials. We started to come up with an idea about how we might set up a clinic um, based still around restorative neurology that might cater for people who could um, uh, reasonably benefit from these therapies but not fit into our existing studies. And, and so was born the Restorative Neurology Clinic which has been running for several years now. We want to help as many people as possible, therefore the Restorative Neurology Clinic at Burke allows us to do that, and we also offer free services for vets. We feel confident that they're getting access to safe and meaningful therapies because the kinds of therapies we offer have already been vetted by uh, the National Institutes of Health Reviewers, our own ethics committee, um, and our peers. Burke is continually adding new technology to its programs, like the exoskeleton, this device, recently approved by the FDA, helps patients with severe impairment improve their gait. I have no doubt that I wouldn't be as far along as I am without it because you know, I started this a few months ago and 
I'm in a whole different place than I was a few months ago. The Burke Medical Research Institute continues to be at the forefront of neurological rehabilitation. It's more than 20 principal investigators, dozens of research staff, postdoctoral students and collaborators worldwide are working together not only to treat those with neurological deficits resulting from illness, disease and injury, but to help find cures for them. Research scientists from Burke Medical Research Institute and the physicians, therapists and staff from Burke Rehabilitation Hospital all work together with a shared goal to ensure that each patient makes the fullest possible recovery. For more information about Burke's game-changing neurological research, please visit burke.org research.